My name is Alana Rahman, and I'm making a stop motion for my Vid2 project at CSN. Video 2 is basically a class at CSN where you get to make one single film between 5 and 10 minutes, and then at the end of the semester you get to showcase it to all your classmates. I chose to do stop motion for this project because I kind of wanted to just do something different. I've always loved stop motion. I grew up watching Wallace and Gromit and Nightmare Before Christmas and all that good stuff. And uh, overall, I just really wanted to try something new. I feel like we've been doing a lot of like live action narratives and like, you know, I was just getting tired of it for a second, thought I would venture out. This is my first real stop motion. Of course, growing up, you know, you make the little like letters moving or you maybe like do some Lego stop motion, but this was like the first grand scale building characters, moving them, like editing it. The first character that we kind of finalized had the body for, the hair was done, the armature was all good. Uh, we even got the clothes sewn for her was older Alana. It's the one that you see in the beginning of the film. She's basically the main character of the entire film and she carries the story. So we thought, hey, we should start with her. Once we had the characters, it was time to kind of start on the set. So right now we're working on the dining room set, uh, which is our second shoot that we're doing. Uh, the basic uh, idea of it is basically finished up. We have the wall paintings and right now we're just going in for small details. Making the props for me was really fun because it felt like one of the few things that I artistically could do. Hannah was really good at pretty much everything. Anything she thought of, she could just magically make it, and it's a little bit harder for me. I'm not as artistically inclined with my hands in building things. And so she was taking care of the characters, she was basically, she was just doing a lot. And it felt like the part that I could kind of handle. And so I was excited for that. Here is the dining room table that I built. I was pretty proud of it. It's basically just two like tiny wood slats glued together uh, and then I cut little dowels out individually and I made it so that they were about the same size, good enough to sit up straight. And I think it looks pretty good from above, but if you look under, it's obviously not the most beautiful table ever. This was not made by me, but I did tell Hannah, I said, Hannah, I want a 1999 Chevy Tahoe, two doors. Why? Because that's what my dad was driving at the time of the incident. And honestly, it's just kind of a car that I grew up in. It's the last family car that I had before everything kind of went down. And it holds a special place in my heart. I mean, that Chevy Tahoe got us through a lot. And so I wanted that to be prominent in the film, even if maybe not everybody is like, oh my god, that's a Chevy Tahoe. I know, it's a Chevy Tahoe. As for the coffee shop, we did something really fun. We went out, we bought tiny canvases, and we got together with our family members, and we had a tiny painting party. And some really wonderful things came out of the tiny painting party. I was pretty satisfied with it, and you know what? It was great family bonding time. We didn't finish all of the sets, all of the props, all of the characters by day one. Yes, that was the goal. Yes, that would have been really nice to have, but we didn't do that. We kind of decided, okay, we have this one set done, let's film it, build film, build film, build film. And so that's how our schedule is laid out. So day one came, and I have very little knowledge of animating. I watched some YouTube tutorials, I watched lots of stop motion films, but overall, like, the most I've ever done is like moving your piece of paper a little bit at a time, or doing a little Hanukkah tidbit for my high school morning news, you know? I'd never made something as personal as a person move. So the way that I did it was I would do it like takes and then edit it together. So I would get her drinking from the cup and if that was like shot A, then I would edit it together, make sure it's fine, and if it was fine then we would move to shot B, which was say like closer in her putting the drink down.
Once everything was built and ready to go for animating for day one, I was kind of nervous. There were a lot of things to be nervous about. We started late, we didn't have certain things done until very, very last minute. Like, the hands were drying like 10 minutes before I wanted to start animating. Um, luckily, I had the day off, so I was able to work longer past our like scheduled time, but it was a little nerve wracking. And then, once I was already worried about everything else but animating, Animating was so stressful, and it was like, can I do this? Am I going to be really bad at this? I wasn't perfect at it. I would definitely say that scene one is probably one of the roughest in terms of the animation, but I was getting the hang of things. I remember when I saw the first take, and I was really proud. It was like, it was a very strong moment for me because it's like everything that I wanted was finally coming together and it felt like all the hard work had paid off, even, even though it was just one shot. Like, that's all I was looking at. I sent it to all my friends, I showed it to all these people, I even showed my coworkers who have no idea what that was. Like, I was just so excited about this one little part and it really felt like it was a stop motion, like it was a movie. And then there were physical obstacles, like dropping the super glue and then having the desk be glued to the floor still glued to the floor. Don't know what to do about that. But uh, we had to go out and get more glue. And then, not to mention coronavirus. Like, that's a huge obstacle right now. In terms of the coronavirus, Las Vegas shut down on what would have been the day before day three of our shoot. Uh, luckily, before our school shut down, I got out with the equipment. Uh, I checked out right before everything closed. I was very happy about that. After everything that happened, my biggest fear was that we wouldn't finish. There was this like dark gray cloud over me at all times about all the things we had to do and everything we had to get done and all these people who were rooting for us and everyone who was so excited to see it. What if it just fell through? And then it hit me post. There is still so much to go. There is still so much to do. And normally I would probably give it to someone else to do. Someone who maybe knows a little bit more about sound and about editing and rotoscoping, etc, etc. And I would pass it off. I would give them the torch and say, here you go. My part is done. But due to the coronavirus, we did not have that option. Would I ever do a stop motion again. Honestly, I think I would because I had a really great time doing it. It was a little stressful, but there was something so amazingly rewarding about getting a scene done or making a tiny table. Like, everything was just great.